This one I always thought of as the cost of inaction of you looking back at our time right now uh, from the near future. And spoiler alert, we don't come out that, that, uh, that great in this, uh, this scenario, so. One Sunday in autumn, he wrote 929. The top of fresh page in his journal. Today's the day, be it rain, be it shine. Looking furthest turn to eternal. Well, the land is exchanged and their debts are all paid. They're waving letters of recommendation. They've built up defenses for the dark water days. Pass from this to the next generation. But I can't carry their souls, they're hardened and heavy, misused and untoned, unleavened, unready. I can't carry their souls. We're looking back at what's left to see what went wrong. Searching for signs of survival, you could tell that they never really got along. But their friends, though they think there are tribals, and I can't carry their souls, they're hardened and heavy, misused and untoned, unleavened, unready. I can't carry their souls. When well, I'm done with defending them. They're blind and unwilling. Well, they stare down at screens. They won't do their own bidding. I can't carry their souls. Well, they echo the healers. Even though they're the patients. Brazenly praying in the face of damnation. I can't carry their souls. Well, they knew everything that they needed to know. The numbers were glaring and continued to grow. The charts and the graphs and the warnings each year. None of it worked to produce enough fear for them to take action to save their own lives. And now here it is, it was a 929. Might be ready to go, but I can't carry your soul. Might be ready to go, but I can't carry your soul. The sheer numbers alone, I can't carry your soul. Might be ready to go, but I can't carry your soul. Cause it's hardened and heavy, misused and undoubted, unleavened, unready, and I can't carry your soul. All right, that's kind of cool. Um, I dig that tune. That one's tough to put early in the set, I got to say, because uh, it's kind of hard for me to hit that high E there. Um, uh, it's really kind of challenging, but so it is. Um, this one's been sounding pretty good with the band, too. Wait, I think I need a little bit more grit on this. Hold on. Just make this a little bit dirtier. I think that'll sound nicer. Usually do play pretty clean, as you can tell. So anyway, uh, here's the tune. Uh, basically, uh, all this disorientation that we feel right now in today's world, uh, and certainly it's been pretty bad over the past couple of weeks. Uh, it, it's a strategy, right? It's on purpose. And... Uh, and uh, the whole point of any of, uh, I think of any of art, music, or whatever, it's like the thing that guides me here in writing this stuff is just, um, you know, to show what the other side could look like, the other side of change could look like, because let's face it, we can't change people's minds. Uh, they have to get there on their own, and we got to have enough patience, enough respect for them to let them do that. So that's what this tune's about. <laughs> Get you to start till it fills up your heart. Then you see yourself on the upside. Put 
another point in the stop to witness what you're on. You can see how there'd be any outside. There's no upside when you're upside down. It's all downside on this downside. Never gonna set you apart. Your immunity from the shot. You can't see any up to the upside. Take another look at the jar. All the progress that we scotched. We can't free ourselves from the downside. There's no upside. When you're upside down, it's all downside. On this downside, we're in free fall on the downside. Do you remember what it was like on this climb? Pretending we were still in the fight, and now we find. There's no upside. There's no upside. When you're upside down, it's all downside. On this downside, there's no upside. When you're upside down, it's all downside. On this downside, nobody will expect you to start. Do you know your way by heart? Let me believe they'll be. And believe they'll be. There will be any up to the upside. All right, there we go. Oh, I got some comments. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. I often feel a little insecure about my voice. To me, I'm more of a writer. You know, I don't, I don't always think that I'm the best singer or the best guitar player. Um, but I'm pretty confident about my, my writing. So, And uh, Amelia, thank you. Man, glad that you're here. That is really awesome. So can't wait till you spin through the Boston area here. That will be fun. Um, all right, I'm going to do another tune then. Keep this going. Glad that you guys could join. This is cool. Uh, practicing for, I got a couple shows coming up this week. So that's what I'm doing here. figure, you know, it's good to just go live and do that and uh, just practice live. Why not, right? We played a show last night. Um, the sound was really good there at uh, this venue last night. It was really, really great. So I had a good time playing this tune in particular just because, uh, to me, it has a lot of dynamics and can be fun to play uh, in that way. So, But on the topic of, um, you know, today's problems and as they seem to increase. To me, we don't solve any of those problems until we solve the information crisis and where people get their information and how and all that and uh, just these perverse incentives from media companies and uh, everyone from traditional media to social media. There's just, uh, they have the wrong incentives in place and it's, it's, uh, it's causing issues. So anyway, that's what this tune's about. It's called Fever. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we hoped, the fever never moved. Their anger burned with no evidence into something uncontrolled. Doesn't matter what we hoped, the fever never moved. 
was strangled up in their selfishness, with no snack left in the rope. Expecting, I don't know, some defensive nails, yet all they did was blue. Let the record show it didn't happen on its own, but if we get a second clue, we'll cut it in stone till we remember it always. Does it matter what we hope? The fever never broke. Spellbound in this illogical narrative that we could not decode. We strung out on the snake oil palliatives and resentment so assumed. Acting out a string of imperatives held out by cheats and trolls. Let the record show it didn't happen on its own. But if we get a second clue, we'll cut it in stone till we remember it always. <laughs> Does it matter what we hoped? The fever never moved In the script where there should be a signature was Someone scratched out what we wrote now we fortify the perimeter with topics we can broach. We won't admit how we're similar when you get us on our own. We exist on more of a continuum, the gap between us overblown. So why we gonna stop, look, or listen, or just treat each other like a joke? Happen on its own, but if we get a second go, we'll cut it in stone so we can let the record show. Didn't happen on its own, but if we get a second go, we'll cut it in stone so we remember it always. We'll remember it always Cool. All right. Oh, th thanks, Amelia. I kind of dig that right. There it is written there in history. I have a couple other tunes that are sort of in the history realm. Let's try, uh, yeah, let's try a couple of these here. Hold on, I think I need to, I, think I might be uh, overriding this a little bit. Nothing worse than digital distortion, so uh, definitely don't wanna blow it out, you know? Hmm. All right, this is another one. Um, like I said, I've been playing um, these with the band. Oh, you know what? I want a little more. I only got a couple pedals here, and uh, oh, that's uh, it's there. Uh, it's really nice of you. Thank you. Cheers. This guitar, I gotta wash it off. It was super hot last night's uh, gig, and so it's all sweaty and yucky, and it's a little sticky. But I do love this guitar. It's, I love the tone. Of it. And I have to say, this is the one that is super, super reliable. Um, 
I was thinking of playing it. There's a couple others that I have, and I just couldn't like keep them in tune with the you know the weather's changing all the time. It's super hot here, but then you go into AC, and you know you know how it is. All right, um, let's play this one here. Uh, this one I don't no normally do uh, um, solo. I um, will probably play this with the band, but um, it was really written so it could have this sort of delicate line in here. So um, playing it solo, you do get to hear that. So here it is. Shadow of a blast we see in outline of the past revealed. It's so light bright, when it comes into focus. When life looks at you like you don't even notice. As the edges sharpen into view, I know that you perceive it too. It's so lifelike, it almost fooled me. When I look at you tonight, some kind of movie. We might send no England. We might never get the chance. That sounds a lot more lifelike. I might reveal a secret gem Something you don't expect from me It's so lifeline Get my confusion Life looks at you like You're the illusion it's a lifeline, you get my confusion, life looks at you blind, you're the illusion. We might share. Well, there we go. That sounds that sounds pretty good. Um, let's take some verb off of that. I should put a pedal board down like uh, like I normally would, but. You know, I've been playing a lot of shows, though, just straight into the amp lately. You know, the thing that's uh, kind of cool about that, this, uh, I don't know if you can see this amp. Oh, i got to go this way. Yeah, this one right here that's mic'd. Um, that one's a Swart uh, on Terry's Master. I got got a good deal on Reverb. So far, I really love it. played it last night's show, and the good thing is it's just got a little, uh, thank you, Amelia, uh, just got some good tone, and also, like, it's... Uh, even with the guitar, that this doesn't have a huge amount of output on it, but even without a boost pedal, it can still get some grit on it, and it just has that nice little, just pushing it a little bit, so you get a little bit of that nice warm tube distortion. It's pretty good. So, so I've been kind of just like guitar, amp, 
good to go. You know, that's that's been kind of thing. So, um, all right, let's uh, keep it going here. This is another tune. Um, again, about you know, in the thread of sort of anti-capitalist uh, tunes, is the uh, you know when everything is a transaction. Um, which it feels like sometimes, right? Everyone's trying to sell you something and do, you know, whatever. Um, but when everything's a transaction, it's just exhausting, right? We end up just kind of feeling spent at the end of the day. And that's uh, where this tune came from, so... This is a stupid question Shouldn't we get started? It's too early in the game For the crowd to wander out Seems like she's been through hell She's taught her not to wear it well it's on the surface, transparent It was plain to see How this would happen but No one believed me that there's No trust in your transparency Trying to decode your parts While you count and catalog my flaws I wish I could empty out my head And start all over again well, You should have kept your victory safe Instead of tangled in the ticker tape it's on the surface, transparent Seeped in to every transaction Every glance of business deal Everyone's lost interest In your inconsistency and in your all sense of insecurity and Who cares what the starlets say let the attention start to wane The crowd is winding down There's no one left to listen anyway You were so confined by cool And all the things you thought you'd do It's on the surface Transparent Seeped in to every last transaction So it seems It was plain to see How this would happen No one believed me that there no trust in your transparency Every glance of business to you Everyone's lost in tears In your inconsistency In your false sense of insecurity
Well, there we go. So getting a little interference here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I dig that too. I imagine I could see you doing that too, Amelia. Just take that pretty gratch that you got. Just run it straight into the amp. <laughs> no pedals. A friend of mine who's a fantastic guitar player. Um, just probably the best that I know, uh, anyway. Um, he says that you don't play the guitar, you actually play the amp. And uh, I kind of get that, because each amp responds a little differently, and definitely to each guitar. And obviously, we all, as players, have a, a connection to the instrument itself, which is why, you know, getting, um, developing some trust in the inf instrument's really, really important. But you're kind of pushing the amp, right? So, you know, that's good. So, <laughs> I appreciate that. Mm. All right, we'll keep going. I didn't play this one at last night's show because um, this sounded really good with the band. So let's see how this sounds. Uh, just doing it myself, but we're gonna have a lot of tests coming in the coming months. I think a lot of things that are gonna test our ability to respond when things drain our energy and. Um, the goal here is to pull together for sure, um, but it's all exhausting. It's all exhausting. So um, anyway, that's what this tune's about. It's hard to tell these days what's true. Each other over what to do. It's our opinion in my view. It's how it's written, I don't get to choose. Another scripted surprise The lift you get when you get me down the sides Bang of heartache Standing in for each goodbye How many knocks do we have to take? Many knocks before we answer our fate. I think I know how this should feel. This ain't it, but it presents as real. Bang a party, knowing what it might reveal. But how much effort do we have to make? How much effort do we carry our way?
comes that feeling again. Recognize it by its intent. Pang of heartache mixed in with some discontent. I hear it knocking, but no one's really in suspense because wrote the script for it so I know just what it represents and all the effort that we have to make how much effort do we feel it start to break feel it start to break Let's start to break. We let's start to break. There you go. That was good fun. Um, being a little facetious. <laughs> That one was written, uh, my wife would give me a challenge. She's like, oh, you know, you write a lot of message songs and a lot of political songs, and I'd love to see a little, uh, little of you in it, you know, and uh, I feel like with that one, I maybe overshot a little bit, so <laughs> so it is. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's, uh, let's keep this going. And, uh, you know, today's Bandcamp Friday. I asked the crowd uh, last night. I asked them, who here knows about Bandcamp? And really, honestly, it's only musicians who know. Anyone who doesn't actually play music, uh, I've never heard of it. And so Bandcamp Friday is um, where the platform Bandcamp waives all platform fees for artists, right? So any support that you give today on Bandcamp Friday, 100% of it goes to any artist. So um, I think I left my link in the the notes here in the chat uh, or the header or whatever. And, you know, after this, I do this every Bandcamp Friday too. It's once a month, by the way. I go and purchase some music from my friends, independent artists, and um, I just make a practice of that. Uh, not just for support. There's great shit out there. There's great shit out there. So, um, and streaming pays nothing. And um, so this is really, if you want to support... Uh, stuff that's other than corporate rock and, and just, you know, pop by algorithm. Uh, you got to support real artists. And that's where, you know, most of those are independent now because uh, that's just the deal. That's flipped from 80-20 to 20-80. 80% used to be how many uh, bands and artists were on labels. So it was 80 on labels, 20 uh, not. That's completely flipped now where 80% of um, all the music that's uh, put out there is independent now. Um, so the label thing is just sort of, you know, it's really only for major artists right now. So that's really the, that's the rub. So anyway, Bandcamp Friday, um, I'd love it if you would support me, but also even if it's not me, go out and support some independent artists. I can tell you it makes a huge difference to all of us. So. <laughs> What I see on my screen is not what I want us to be. And who are you? And who am I? It's not our style to live life inside of the lines we used to feel so alive. Respond with a smile. Now we only look down and wear that glow like a frown. We 
look at me It's hard to see through this screen And see what's important to me When I look at you in this room But it feels too soon to pay some attention to you We used to feel so alive And respond with a smile And now we only look down And wear that blue like a frown Try to see through your feet, but reflections of me are all that I'm willing to eat. Who are we? Is what I see on my screen is not what I want us to be. It all happened in a flash Directed like a detonation Now I'm left looking for the leg wire I'm Trying to trace its destination Well, it went from one point to another Planned and plotted like a paragraph We can mark the very moment when we stop laughing at the laugh track and all this silk come on in my soul Makes you wanna give up the ghost Makes you wanna give up the ghost I Stick around like a Norway brown it Didn't spur the first disturbance but When the power grid went down well they sure seem to serve their purpose with no big picture, no big plan. No intent to try to warn you. Match that moment that we mapped when they just did know California. Oh, and all this silicon in my soul. All this silicon in my soul. Oh. All this silicone in my soul Makes you want to give up the ghost Makes you want to give up the ghost Tonight, tonight, tonight Tonight, tonight Tonight, tonight Tonight, tonight Sounds different to me every time I play it back Didn't get that was auditioning Sounds different to me every time I play it back I've completed my conditioning Tonight, 
So I'll explain my generation, if I may. We're defined by disillusionment, fashioned by the facts and feelings, and little chance for improvement. So we turn it up or turn it off. All this televised talk therapy, though it might help you hit your high note, well, it never really got through to me. Yeah. All this silicon in my soul, all this silicon in my soul, all this silicon in my soul, makes you want to give up the ghost. Makes you wanna give up the ghost. Makes you wanna give up the ghost. Cool. Oh, thank you, Amelia. Appreciate that. I usually kind of run those tunes together uh, when I'm playing them live. It's kind of a cool effect. I like to try to do that if we can, just to, you know, not have it always be introduced in the song or whatever, you know, so. Um, that could get boring for the audience. Speaking of which, since we have musicians here like Amelia. One thing I've been trying to do. Uh, just from a performance standpoint is to try to get better at the between song banter. Uh, to me, I always looked at it as like it's part of the show, right? So. And a lot of bands are really bad at it. And I felt like I was super bad at it too for a long time and just made a concerted effort. I, w I watched other artists who were doing it. And one of the things that was kind of cool and I tried to do, I guess, is to, when you introduce a song is, um, I saw my friend Carissa Johnson do this. She was probably the best at it. It's, you keep it super short and then you give a little teaser about the song, so you don't go like, oh, I wrote this because such and such or whatever, and I fall into that trap. But you give a little teaser about the song, enough so that it sort of opens a question for the, um, for the audience, right? And that they're kind of, as you're playing it, they're searching the song for that clue, if you will. Um, it's a really effective technique because it kind of makes people pay attention a little bit if they're tuned into that. You know, and some people are there at a show, they're just there to like, have a couple drinks and they don't care who's on stage. But for me as a writer, like I want people to hear the tunes. So like that method, I'm not saying I'm really good at it yet, but like it's, a, I thought that was really good in my observation of what she was doing and I've seen other artists do that too. It's super effective. Um, so planning that out, I probably would probably do well to like do more of that, you know? So anyway, I thought that was a good clue. So that's what you get here if you're in my uh, attic studio with me, so. <laughs> Um, this one, uh, this is another one of my singles. All this stuff is online, you know, all the streaming platforms. And like I said, it's Bandcamp Friday, so you can download these. And man, you know, you're hearing me just do these solo, but put a lot into creating really nice studio versions of these uh, with some just great players here. And, uh, and uh, you know, that's... I tried to make them sort of the best versions that I could and make something I was proud of. So, um, so anyway, here's one such tune. Um, one of my recent singles, just like a few months ago anyway. Uh, here it is. It's about a one-way journey. I took a ride out of the blue. What happened next surprised me too. I took a ride to clear my head. Said I'd return, I pressed on instead. I took a ride and I rode all day. Had to do more, didn't get away. I took a ride, I held my breath. I had to see if anything was left. You're in my blind spot, baby. Feeling me everywhere You're in my blind spot, baby I can't see you, but I know you're there Took a ride out of concern 
not for myself nor my return. I took a ride, I drove all night, I read the land by my headlights. You're in my blind spot, baby. Trailing me everywhere. You're in my blind spot, baby. I can see you, but I know you're there. I took a ride across the years from scene to scene, shifting gears. I took a ride to ease my mind, but I couldn't leave the past behind. You're in my blind spot, baby. Trailing me everywhere. You're in my blind spot, baby. Well, I can't see you, but I know you're there. Yeah, I can't see you, but I know you're there. Take a ride. I know what's next but No sense of when What to expect I took a ride Because I know My number's up And it's time to go But it's been a blind spot Baby Don't take it Too personal It's been a blind spot Baby it's too late to reverse it now. It's too late to reverse it now. It's too late to reverse it now. There we go. Oh, Amelia, you are so nice. I appreciate you. It's good. I think uh, what I'm coming on about an hour. This is kind of interesting. I think that's about the set. I think this is all, these are all the tunes that the band knows. I'll do one more, then maybe call it and uh, get outside and enjoy a little bit of the sunshine. I was out already, so, you know, I was kind of supposed to be working today, but I just couldn't, couldn't bear it today. So, um, all right, do one more. Um, this one sounds great with the band. Holy crap. Because uh, like I said, I got a new lap steel player and kind of let him just run with this solo that, transitions from the uh, it goes from the bridge bridge part and then we kind of groove back into the to the verse part and the solo transitions over that with the lap steel it's just like ah, i'm getting goosebumps thinking about it it's so cool um that's just been such a great thing for the band so can't wait to play this one live that show is on um the big show is on wednesday uh the 10th at the midway here in uh in Jamaica Plain in Boston and um, love playing there. Those folks are so nice. They've, they've been doing live music every single night for I think it's 35 years. It's something ridiculous. So uh, gotta support places like that because they have, a lot of those have dried up and they just have the right mentality. I really appreciate those guys. So anyway, um, all right, I'll do this one more and then uh, sign off and thanks for being here, especially Amelia and everyone else that I can see. Uh, who was here, uh, really appreciate you. So this tune is called Leaving, and I guess that's appropriate, so. Turn a little, turn a little, face the camera.
should have stopped. Should have gathered the strength to put it on. We take our chances until we can't take it anymore. I believe in leaving it out to someone else. All to someone else. I believe. I feel better once this is done. Cause we can't stop it once it's begun. Once we'd seen it, we could have stopped. Could have spoke up instead, we let it drop. Y'all tell our stories, but I can't fake it anymore. I'm leaving, leaving it out to someone else, out to someone else. Yeah, I'm leaving, leaving it out to someone else, out to someone else, out to someone else, out to someone else. All right. Thank you very, very much for being here. I'll do this again. And um, just, uh, yeah, we'll have some fun together and uh, to see you out at a show sometime too. So uh, anyway, cheers.